Hey guys, this is Kim, and today I'm going to be talking about animation and how awesome and important it is. I have always loved animated movies and series, and I feel like sometimes they're underappreciated and written off as unimportant because they're just kids' movies, and they're seen as silly stories with no social relevance. It is true that there is animation like that, but not all of it is sugar-coated kid stuff. There is animation that addresses serious issues and is sometimes made specifically for adults. As Dr. Joseph Champeau from the University of New Mexico points out, sadly, some students, and perhaps some colleagues, will dismiss animated film as silly children's cartoons. They might view animated film as just entertainment, a source of pleasure, fantasy, and escape not a serious source of teaching and learning examples. But animation is a beautiful meeting place for art and film. It's the comic book of the film industry. It's enjoyed but often not viewed as equivalent to its counterpart, literature, or in this case, live action film. As Dr. Paul Wells from the Animation Academy points out, there is a scandalous absence of animation in film theory, even though it is a radical and progressive art form whose confluence of all the arts idioms painting, drawing, graphic design, illustration, sculpture, theater, dance, music, makes it the most inclusive of disciplines. I believe that animation is worthy of attention, that it should be considered film, and that it should be taken seriously. Animation should be considered film because animators have to think of the same things that live action filmmakers do, taking into account mise-en-scene elements like sets, costumes, lighting, blocking, and color. Plus, photography is still used in animation, since animators created the earliest films with frame-by-frame -frame photography of hand-inked paper drawings. The technique continued later with cell animation, or hand-inked drawings on glassine paper and celluloid material. Even with computer animation, they have to worry about blocking and shots, even though they're not using physical cameras to record it. Really, the only difference is that animated filmmakers have to render everything, whereas live-action filmmakers use real-world people and places, and then maybe add in special effects. Some even prefer animation for this reason, including film critic Roger Ebert, who once called animation pure story, character, movement, and form, without the distractions of reality or the biographical baggage of the actors. Animation should be taken seriously because not all of it is just for kids. As animated film writer and director Brad Bird stated, animation is an art form. It can do any genre. It could do a detective film, a cowboy film, a horror film, an R-rated film, or a kid's fairy tale. But it doesn't do one thing. There are cartoons specifically made for adults, which might have violence, language, social and political issues like racism and abortion, and references to sex, drugs, and alcohol. Some include crude humor, and some genuinely want to point out societal problems. There are many things in these shows that kids would not appreciate or understand. There are also cartoons which are marketed for children, but slip in jokes for adults that children would not understand, to make it more enjoyable for adults taking care of kids. There are others that address very real issues, such as environmental problems, teenagers acting out parental roles, loss and depression, homelessness and poverty, emotional abuse, and prejudice, while hiding behind cute animation and funny jokes, so that it's still enjoyable to the child and they understand what's going on, though perhaps not quite to the extent as an adult would. Because animators have to render everything, animation takes a lot of time and effort. Whether it's hand-drawn, computer-animated, or stop-motion, it takes a lot of devotion to render even a simple animation. How much have you done? Fifteen more shots, I'll have the first two seconds finished. Two seconds? I will support this with a challenge to make my own animation. See how this goes. Alright, so I'm about to try my hand at making my own animation. It'll be nothing too complicated, short and simple, maybe one or two things, depending on how long it takes me and maybe how frustrated I get with it. I guess I'm kind of nervous about how it'll turn out, 
it probably won't be that great or that polished, but hopefully it'll give me some more understanding and insight and allow me to further my argument and perhaps my love of animation. So here we go. So I just spent like 15 minutes drawing all these little smiley faces. I, I did not spend a whole lot of time on detail, but I enjoyed it. It was fun. I think it turned out decently well, especially since it's my first time and I didn't spend much time on it. It's actually really exciting for me because for years I wanted to be an animator, but I never tried anything and I, I really enjoyed it. So I decided I'm going to do another one. I think this time I'm going to try doing a little person walking to be a little more complicated. So I just spent over 30 minutes drawing the little walking person. Uh, it was a lot more complicated than just the little smiley face. I did a short bit at first and tested it and it wasn't enough, it didn't look right so I had to go back and do a lot more. That was definitely more involved than I thought it would be. Not that I thought it would be easy to make a little walking person but I didn't expect it to take over 30 minutes and I kept getting mixed up on which way the arms and legs were supposed to go so I was sitting here like doing this looking kind of silly but trying to figure out how it corresponds and how to put it on paper. <laughs> it's not perfect but I think it's a it, it looks like a person walking I think so I think I did a decent job, decent enough job at least. So I, I think I'm happy with it. I think not as much as I am with the smiley face, but I think it was kind of successful. So I have always had a great respect for animation and now I just have even more because it's one thing to know about the process and it's another to have done it yourself and experienced firsthand how challenging it really is. You know, I spent 15 minutes making one animation that was less than 4 seconds, and then I spent over 30 minutes making another one that's less than 10 seconds, and I didn't even put a whole lot of detail into these. Like, it's a simple little smiley face and then stick figures. Compare this to what you see in movies and in TV shows. You know. They're incredibly detailed and much more lifelike. It just amazes me how much time and devotion they put into making it look so fantastic. 
I really admire the extraordinary creativity of people in this industry. Never has a form so resolutely hidden in plain sight, and I think it's time for that to change. Thanks for watching.